means the further north you go, the colder it's going to be. But there's one simple solution. Head south! <laughs> Although it has big plans for the millennium, Miami, Florida's South Beach is still definitely in the Bronze Age. On South Beach's beaches, it's easy to overdress, authorities butt out, tourists easily assimilate, and the locals are more than willing to turn the other cheek. South Beach's already pulsating nightlife is turning it up a notch for New Year's. The entire district is being transformed into a multimedia laser-filled environment. So come prepared to dance, and if the floors are too crowded, there's plenty of tables and bars. South Beach looks a little too depraved. Back to Wild in the Millennium, I'm Jules Asner. If you like crowds, confetti, and pure pageantry, and you want to be part of the most spectacular extravaganza on Earth, there's only one place to be, New York's Times Square. Ocean, and this is the International Day Line. <laughs> this is the Earth. This is the Pacific Ocean. This this is the kind of thing they think is really funny back at the station. All the islands to the left of the Dateline will be the first to celebrate New Year's, and all the ones east of the Dateline, sorry. How would you celebrate New Year's if you wanted to do it twice? Like, if you want to celebrate two times, what would be the trick of doing that, you know? No. Party a lot harder. <laughs> you got me there. I don't know. It's like time about. zone, jump time zones or something, or? No, I just want to do it once. Something with time zones, or? Yeah, probably something with time zones. Party one place and hop on a plane, get another. Same. Yeah. Okay. Explain to us how you celebrate multiple New Year's Eve. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Okay, the way you can do two New Year's Eves is... Tonight we're going to party no. like it's 1999. <laughs> how does that go? Let old acquaintance be forgotten. That's all I know. <laughs> old acquaintance something something. Uh, about the only part of the song I know is should old acquaintance be forgotten. <laughs> That's about it. What does that mean anyway? I have no idea. <laughs> let old acquaintance be forgotten. Oh, it never brought it never brought to life. Never let it end or something like that. Why do you think that line? I mean, that's just kind of a it's something to do with the uh, ritual uh, of they had the Stonehenge thing and the light and the seasons changing and all that stuff. And I think it kind of, you know, a pagan ritual or something like that. It just kind of gets misinterpreted. Well, that's going to do it for this epic edition of Wild On. I'm Jules Asner saying here's to old Lang Syne. And keep watching E! Because here at E! we live for this stuff. Mm.